Welcome to the world's most secure broadband edge. Let me guide you first on the history and evolution of Nokia's BNG, also known as multi-access gateway. Multi-access, since we do support both fixed and fixed wireless access subscribers in a traditional or CUPS architecture. This demo, however, takes it a step further, adding the integration with Nokia's DeepField solution, a platform that offers subscriber insights and DDoS mitigation, both contributing to the world's most secure broadband edge. This animation shows the topology and steps taken into this demo. First, we use a CUPS architecture running synthetic but also live data traffic on an FP-based user plane. Second, we export radius accounting and sampled subscriber C4D records, which DeepField uses together with their genome database to give insights for what we call the good guys. This demo, however, focuses on the bad guys. Suppose you have an e-commerce website as shown on the bottom right, would get attacked from the inside of your network, being the subscribers or IOT devices in the home. These can be simple, more complex botnet attacks or alike. DeepField detects this attack and installs countermeasures using NetConf or BGP flow spec that populate filter rules on the user plane in a scalable fashion. Thanks to the DDoS mitigation on the user plane, the web page is back online and ready to do more business. First, I demonstrate and explain what happens on the broadband edge before during and after a DDoS attack. Besides this and other customized dashboards, I will focus on a dashboard where we see the traffic received on this e-commerce website together with the BGP flow spec rules when sent by DeepField. Okay, it's time to wake up the bad guys and start a DDoS attack using a distributed invalid TCP SYN flood and botnet attack. On the top graph, you notice the huge traffic increase towards the e-commerce website, followed by BGP flow spec rules received from DeepField. On this moment, the website is unresponsive. These BGP flow spec rules in this example result in 76 IP filter entries installed in the system filter on the user plane as shown on the left of the screen. Meanwhile, our website fully recovered, almost unnoticed by the end users. For completeness, I added our FP-based scalable filter implementation using the different filter types, highlighting DeepField's use of system filters. Okay, it's time to focus on the DeepField solution as part of this demo. We'll combine Nokia DeepField Defender with the filtering capabilities provided by the Nokia Multi-Access Gateway solution to secure the broadband edge of our network. DeepField will trigger an event automatically when the amount of classified DDoS traffic exceeds the configured threshold. This event will show up in the event summary page. We can see that a new event popped up. The e-commerce is being blocked by the attack traffic, preventing legitimate users from accessing it. At this point, every minute that passes is impacting our business, hence it's critical to stop the DDoS attack as fast as possible to recover the service. One can see that DeepField has automatically attached a mitigation action to the event, and after a few seconds, the access to the e-commerce website is recovered, which is now under protection. The Event Flows tab allows you to inspect the raw traffic sampled from the network. This includes the characteristics of the sampled flow, such as its 5-tuple, TCP flags used, average packet size, TTL, or source country. In this example, the network that DeepField is protecting is located in Japan, 
Hence, all the infected sources are subscribers located in Japan, as one can see in the screen. You may have already noticed the red flags in the top right column, indicating that the sources contributing to this attack have been identified by Secure Genome as known botnets. These IPs are running vulnerable devices or services that can be exploited by malicious actors to launch DDoS attacks, as seen in this case. These vulnerable devices could include IP cameras, refrigerators, Mikrotik routers, or other IoT devices deployed consumer households. Secure Genome scans the internet for these IPs running potentially vulnerable services, and the Genome Tags column shows the intelligence gathered about them. This information is key to surgically detect and mitigate DDoS attacks as it provides threat context to the anomalous traffic patterns observed, which brings much more accuracy than the manual thresholds and baselines mechanisms used by traditional DDoS solutions. Back to the event details console, one can see the volume of traffic classified as DDoS red versus non-DDoS green, along with the detected attack vectors. Let's click on the active mitigation to inspect which countermeasures have been selected by DeepField to surgically block the observed DDoS attack. In the mitigation console, one can see the DDoS traffic plotted in green and how, after the countermeasures are pushed to the edge device, which in this demo is the Nokia multi-access gateway, the past DDoS traffic drops down to zero. The countermeasures enabled are the ones showing in the bottom left corner. To see more information about the ones used in each of the countermeasures, one can click on the particular countermeasure of interest. In this example, we'll look at the different filters used as part of the anti-botnet countermeasure. In this countermeasure, DeepField will include the sources identified as known botnets, effectively blocking the traffic sourced from them towards our e-commerce website. Of course, DeepField not only blocks the observed infected sources, it also uses other type of filter matches that are automatically populated by the detected anomalous characteristics of the attack traffic towards the e-commerce website, such as unexpected TCP SYN packet links, as you can see on the screen, amongst others. As mentioned earlier, other countermeasures are also selected, which translates into filters pushed to the edge device. In total, 76 filter entries are consumed in the Edge device's TCAM after expansion, as observed in the first part of the demo. To finish off the demo, let's go back to the event details and switch to the Characteristics tab. The Characteristics tab provides a point-to-click navigation into the DDoS traffic by bits per second, packets per second or DDoS sources, with a breakdown by multiple criteria, such as target IP, source IPs, source and destination protocol and ports, source country, TTL, average packet size, TCP flags, etc. Amongst other things, the Characteristics tab allows you to have a deeper look into the good and DDoS traffic. How does it evolve over time, and how efficient is the mitigation programmed by Nokia DeepField? This information is stored with 10 seconds granularity, and kept for months in case one needs to review or analyze past events. Okay, let me summarize and share the takeaways on what it means to be the world's most secure broadband edge. First, security. Nokia DeepField Defender offers the most scalable and cost-effective DDoS solution in the market for the entire perimeter of your network. Broadband edge included where your subscribers are becoming part of botnets contributing to DDoS attacks targeting your own network. Second, multi-access broadband edge, which means support the full range of wireline and fixed wireless access technologies like cable, fiber, Wi-Fi, 4G and 5G on a single gateway. And last but not least, having a scalable and 100% performant broadband edge due to the FP4 and FP5-based Nokia service routers. Thank you and for more information, visit our Nokia website.